Okay, welcome back to yet another improvised review on Inside Number 9 Series 6. Now today we are reviewing Simon Says. Um, keep in mind, this is going to be on first impressions, where I only review what I first seen through, and uh, got like a few... Uh, I don't know how to describe it. A few little insights on how the show was created and how the episode was created through the Inside Inside the Benign podcast, as well as other reviews. So let's discuss Simon Says. Um, I don't know if this is controversial or not, considering the amount of praise this episode has gotten recently. Well, I say recently, it's only come out like yesterday. But um, I kind of think Simon Says was just okay like I, I don't really know how to describe it like like there's a plot right there that it's perfect for tension it's a perfect thriller you know there's a power dynamic between the fan and the creator where the fan is taking the creator hostage and basically the fan is molding it into their own show the fandom is controlling the person creating it and it's no longer their show it's the fan's show and i'm rambling now but um as always um uh, you know, the actors do a fine job. We have Rishi Smith as uh, Simon. We have Steve Pemberton, uh, Steve Pemberton as Steve Goodall. Um, we also have some other characters like uh, Gavin, who was a personal favorite of mine. Where he's very warm and inviting, and he seems like a real fan compared to Simon, who is obviously a little crazy. Um, aside from that, I didn't really feel anything much aside from that like there were a few standout scenes and a few standout lines like um the uh, the intro to the episode it le it fell to a lot of intrigue to me it was like okay there's blood where is this going is this going to be like is this going to be like a flash forward uh, into the future uh, or not in the past or something but then it's revealed we're in the present and then we meet Simon, you know, and of course, Rishi Smith does a good job at portraying this sinister figure in Simon. Um, I probably said that enough times already, but um, I, what I appreciate is that there's no real good guy in this, you know, like, obviously we feel bad for Spencer because he has been, um, he's been taken advantage of, but Spencer is portrayed as a dick, basically. And so we don't really feel bad for him, but we don't feel bad for Simon either, because although he's portrayed, like, a little bit meek at the start, he basically... Well, you get the idea of it. I've said it countless times already. But, um... Uh, one standout line was, um... Uh... I'm trying to think of it. All right. One standout line was, um... I've got a podcast. Of course you fucking have. Like, that was the standout line for me, although everybody loves it. Um, another standout scene for me was near the end, where it looks like Simon has killed Gavin, and then we're led into the bedroom, and it's very, it's very homoerotic, and I was thinking, wait, this is where we're going with this? Is, is this where we're going with it? And then, um, and then Spencer tries to kill, and eventually does kill Simon, and I do like how the killing is portrayed, you know, it's very long, it's, there's no music playing around, so it's not acting, like, dramatic, you know, it's, it's a real scene, um, and I think it's portrayed very well, in fact, it almost killed Reese, um, apparently, but aside from that, I couldn't really say much about it, like, I, I again, I don't know how to describe it, I kind of felt Simon Says was a bit okay, like, maybe, I, I don't really give scores on here, but maybe, like, a 7 or an 8 out of 10 would fit it. But, obviously, the score won't be for every episode. <laughs> but, um, yeah, aside from that, I mean, I think Simon Says was a good episode. I think, um, I think the favorite performance was, um, I can't, um, oh, yeah, yeah, I was trying to, trying to, fit, uh, basically, Nick Mohammed, who was the actor behind Gavin, I thought he played a really good part, betraying, um, the other part of the fandom that's very, you know, warm and inviting, like, a real fan, and, uh, we also got some Lindsay, uh, Lindsay Duncan over there, who was playing Loretta, Stephen, I mean, yeah, Spencer's agent, um, I'm, I'm, I'm rambling a lot, and, anyway, so, I think we'll leave that there, this was my review of Simon Says, uh, feel free to join me in about a week, where we will review, the next episode, which will be lip service. So see you then if you actually want to see another one of these videos.